Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Galaxy Alpha. Now, this will speed up their overall device and how it works and how it launches apps and just how it moves in general. So, first off, we're going to start off by changing something in the developer options. So, we're going to go to our settings button at the top. And we're going to scroll all the way down and get to about device. In about device, we are going to hit build number repeatedly. And it's supposed to be seven times, but it'll tell you right here, developer option has been turned on. And then we're going to scroll back down and then we will see something that wasn't there before, which is now developer options. Once you open up developer options, make sure you do not turn on anything except for the section that I'm going to tell you. So you're going to scroll up and go to the drawing category. In the drawing category, there are three things uh, available. They're all set to 1x. Window animation, transition animation, animator duration. You're going to change each of those things to 0.5. What this is doing is telling your phone, hey, I know you'd normally take a second to do all of these things, but you can actually do it in half a second. So that way, when you hit the back button, when you start moving between the apps, it's going to move much quicker than it did before. And that's the first step. The second step is to disable the S voice that is launched from the home button. Now, if you like S voice, by all means, you don't have to disable this, but you do have to get through it once in order to disable it if you don't like S voice. So you're gonna to wanna to hit the menu button, settings, and then disable open via home key. What this allows you to do is actually make your home press dramatically quicker. So when you go home, it's now going to be much quicker than it was before. The third item you want to do is get rid of this, my magazine. My Magazine causes the phone to move very slowly when switching between your home screens. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down this. Uh, when you hold down the multi-screen button, what you actually get is the menu press. Uh, just like you used to have the menu press before there, if you hold it down, you still have the menu press. So you're going to go to home screen settings, and you're going to disable My Magazine. And another thing to do is actually make no animation between the transition. This will make your home screen movements much, much faster. So now your home screens move through very quickly. So it's just nice and simple and easy to do. Now the last and final thing uh, you want to do is something that is really only exclusive to Nexus and Samsung. HTC and LG at least currently cannot do this which is you can uninstall all of the built-in apps. So say for instance, I don't use any of this AT&T stuff and I only use some of the Samsung stuff. So guess what? I'm going to uninstall all of these. Now you uninstall or disable, but the idea behind this is that these things aren't running in the background. They're not getting in the way of your RAM or your cache and they make your phone run a lot faster by disabling all the stuff that you're not gonna use anyway. So this is really good. I don't use Keeper, Lookout. Oh my God, remove Lookout. That is the worst thing ever. You don't get viruses on Android as long as you don't uh, download things besides the Galaxy Store and the Play Store. If you don't download, uh, if you download only from those two locations, you won't have anything else. So actually, well, you might want to leave my AT&T. That's how you can see how much data you're using and all of that stuff. So you might want to uh, lose, uh, leave that one. Uh, so Uber, I don't use newsstand. These are all things that are built in on the device that you don't necessarily need. And this is why I would get rid of them. So let's leave it at that. And now my phone is going to run much faster than yours would typically uh, run if you didn't see it before this. So it runs a lot quicker just going between apps. Everything is going to just move quicker between all of the apps now. It's just nice that all of these things will move uh, much smoother than it did before. And you can see now too, when we clear the RAM, you're going to have a lot more RAM than you would have uh, when you first turned on the device. I believe when I first turned it on, it was at 1.4, 1 1.3. 1 so now I have a lot more uh, free space. 
All right, guys, hopefully you like this video. Please give a like thumbs up if you did. And hopefully this will make your phone run much better than it did before. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.